Welcome back to Mind Pump TV. I'm your host, Adam Schaefer. We've got a good one for you guys today. Today, we're gonna to be addressing two of the most popular supplements that are sold on the market right now. That's pre-workouts and creatine supplements. And we have our resident ex-supplement addict, Sal Stefano, that's going to be covering this with you guys. So he's just an absolute genius when it comes to supplement talk. This guy's been taking supplements since he was a kid. And there's a lot of supplements that are out there that don't do a lot of work for you. And no matter what we tell you on here when we talk about supplements, we always recommend that you guys get your nutrition through Whole Foods first. But if you're going to add some performance supplements, these are two supplements that we highly recommend for you to try out. Now, the supplements that Sal's gonna be talking to, he recommends a brand, a friend of ours, Mike Matthews, his Legion brand, some of the best supplements out on the market. You guys, we have a discount code for you guys at go to buylegion.com forward slash mind pump. Check it out. Hope you guys enjoy this one. All right, uh, this is one of my favorite uh, subjects to talk about, supplements. I was a supplement fanatic when I was a kid and uh, well, rightly so. I mean, they promise you everything. I remember reading, you know, muscle magazines like Flex Magazine or Muscle and Fitness when I was a kid and I'd read these articles and I'd read these ads and these supplements would promise to add pounds of muscle to my body or burn body fat or make me into a Superman. And I'm here to tell you that none of those things came true. Uh, supplements actually did very little for me. Uh, everything I got from training uh, or from, you know, for in terms of muscle gain and fat loss was through training and diet. Um, and that was until I encountered creatine. Uh, creatine, when that first came on the scene, gosh, I think I first took creatine, I wanna say maybe 1995. It was right around the time when creatine kind of first came out. I think it was EAS that kind of brought that out uh, or made that popular. And I remember taking creatine and within a week, I literally gained, got stronger. I think I added like five or 10 pounds on my lifts and gained about three or four pounds. Now, today, uh, creatine is the most widely studied uh, supplement, ergogenic aid that you can find uh, over the counter. It's proven to be safe and effective for muscle gain. So that is the supplement that I typically will recommend that people uh, will take. Now, this begs the question like, which brand should I buy or which kind of creatine should I take? Well, all the studies are done on creatine monohydrate and there's all these different forms of creatine. This is probably because the supplement industry does a, f a few funny things when supplements that are actually effective or show some kind of real results comes out. What they do is they, they'll take like creatine, for example, creatine comes out, shows great results, studies are backing it up. And then other supplement companies are like, how can we maximize on this? And what they do is they come up with different versions of creatine to try and say that it's, you know, it's better than the original. The reality is creatine monohydrate works uh, perfectly fine. Now, the, now the, the problem with supplement companies also is quality. And there have been uh, independent laboratories that have tested other supplement companies or, or uh, many supplement companies and found that there were impurities in their product or it said it had five grams of creatine, but in reality it only had one uh, and stuff like that. So you do want to go with a, uh, a reputable brand. Um, one of the brands I like to use is Legion. Now I know Mike Matthews personally, he's actually a good friend of mine, very smart dude. He also combines creatine with uh, L-carnitine um, in the form of L-carnitine uh, tartrate. Now studies do show that that does reduce the markers of muscle damage uh, that tend to happen after intense exercise. So this is good if you're training super intensely and you're kind of teetering on the edge of overdoing it, which if you're training hard and you're trying to maximize your gains, you're probably doing now, in which case it may uh, show you some benefit. So the creatine I use is Legion. I, I, I take that, it already comes with the carnitine inside of it. Um, and that's what I like to take. Now there is another supplement that's more recent in terms of, in, at least in comparison to creatine, in terms of showing uh, real uh, efficacious uh, you know, results. And that's beta alanine. Uh, beta alanine is interesting. Now beta alanine gets converted to carnosine in your body, which is, acts like a buffer uh, for uh, lactic acid. So, uh, or for other acids. For, for, uh, so when you're lifting weights or you're doing you know, activity that requires a little bit of endurance, or if you're lifting weights in the eight to 20 rep range um, and you get that muscle burn, beta alanine will help you squeeze out more repetitions. So in terms of increasing performance, 
beta alanine has been proven to be something that actually does give you uh, good results. And that's something that I'll throw into my routine and recommend to my more advanced clients as well. And that's kind of pretty much it. Creatine, beta alanine, those are the two products that I recommend. Um, you know, I know a lot of pre-workout supplements will sometimes contain beta alanine. I'm not super keen on pre-workout supplements. Those are usually glorified stimulants. But again, Legion makes a really good pre-workout. Again, Mike doesn't throw in a bunch of crap. He puts in only what works. And his pre-workout has a very good dose of beta alanine. That's something else you want to consider with beta alanine is that many times supplements will say they contain beta alanine, beta alanine but they don't give you the efficacious dose, which studies will show is between three to six grams. It's actually a decent dose. Um, I know Legion has the, the right amount. And that's kind of it. Those, those are the two muscle building supplements that will probably give you some kind of an effect, especially creatine. You should notice strength and muscle, muscle gains from creatine. And long term, both of those will contribute to increased recovery and better adaptation. But I do want to say this, no supplement on earth comes close to uh, proper nutrition and good exercise programming. In fact, if we were to look at all of your progress and results and give it a number, let's say 100, let's say if you did a great work, everything was perfect, and the most you could get out of your, your program, nutrition, lifestyle, everything was a, was a 100, well, supplements would maybe give you an extra one or two points, um, literally. That's how little they contribute when you compare them to proper diet and exercise. Now, that being said, if you're very serious about your training, um, and you do have a good diet and you do have good exercise programming. Maybe you're following one of our MAPS programs, which I know have great exercise programming. Then including something like creatine or beta alanine will give you that little bit of an edge. And for those of you who are super serious about working out and really love to feel those one or 2% increases like I do, uh, you could try them out. Again, try to stick to reputable brands. Uh, I can definitely vouch for Legion. They are one of our sponsors, and I know Mike personally, so I know his products are very good. Um, now, I suggest you share this video with your friends so they, they, don't, they don't waste money on a bunch of other supplements that probably do nothing. Um, also, if you have questions on these supplements or others, put it in the comments below. I will visit from time to time and try and answer as many questions as I possibly can. Um, and we also post new videos all the time. Subscribe to this channel. We won't let you down.